Hello, my name is Cheyenne and welcome back to another nail art tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this abstract look. It's a little bit of a mix match, but I think it is perfect for showing off a fun magnetic polish. This look was really easy to do and super fun, so I hope you give it a try. It took me under two hours to do, which I think is pretty quick for a magnetic look. I took to Instagram to find some inspiration. This design was actually inspired by Samsung nails. Since this look has a lot of negative space, I thought it would be perfect to show off a magnetic effect. Before painting the design on my nails, I did test out a few color combinations and realized that I wanted to do something a little bit more higher contrast. So this is Dom's High Quality Nudes. This is a polish that was from a recent polish pickup and I was so happy to get my hands on it. I love that high contrast between the the copper color and that beautiful blue. This polish did provide one coat coverage for me and I didn't do a second coat. I just uh, magnetized my first coat and went along with painting the nail art on top of that. I have been pretty impressed with Dom's polishes and I definitely want to get some more in the future. I suspect if I try more of their polishes, they might become one of my favorite brands. I magnetized just the tip of my nail. I held it there for a minute, but I did fast forward this clip just so you would have to watch me magnetize this for a full minute. I'm going to be using Hollow Taco's Oh My Gourd on my right hand and Hollow Taco's Royalty Blue on my right hand. I thought doing these contrasting colors, one on each hand, not only complemented Dom's polish, but also created this fun visual contrast. I like doing high contrast manicures where one hand's one color and one hand's the other color sometimes because I think it's really fun. Anyways, right now I'm going in and I'm just painting an arch with Oh My Gourd. I'm going to be filling that outline in with the brush straight from the bottle because it's easier. As you can see, Oh My Gourd is a little bit sheer, so I will have to go in and do a second coat. I have had these cream polishes from Hollow Taco for over a year now and I am curious if they've changed their formula or have done anything different to maybe fix this issue where they're a little bit transparent. It's just not what I would expect from a brand like Hollow Taco. Next I'm going to be going and adding a little half circle on the edge of my ring finger. Again this is just creating an outline so I could fill it in with my larger brush later. I am also going to add a half circle on the other side of my nail, but I am going to make this a little bit wider at the bottom and keep it narrow at the top. Something that I really liked about this manicure is that it is super simple and you could recombine these elements in different ways. I'll add a link to another video I did where I did a similar look that I did on my pinky across a whole set of nails, but I just styled it differently. These simple combinations are endless. I'm now going to go in on my middle finger and create a French tip. I always like to try to draw a line down the middle to act as a center point, a horizontal line about where my finger ends, and then two lines on each side of my nail to kind of emulate the illusion of a fingernail. I like to fill in the corners with my detail brush and then go in with my larger brush from the bottle to fill in the tip. You have to be careful not to put too much polish on it or it will look too lumpy. So make sure to wipe off any excess that you don't need back into the bottle. And I can't stress that enough because I've made that mistake many times in doing French tips. It's just adding too much polish and it's just getting too thick. And again, because this polish isn't necessarily opaque in one coat, I had to go back in and just touch up a few areas. And there you go. Your French tip nail is done. Now moving on to my pointer finger, I'm going to be creating two half circles again, one arch facing up towards the tip of my nail, and I wanted this to be a little askew. I didn't want it to be perfectly balanced on both sides. So when I went and I did my second arch, I had it start at a lower part of my nail and then end at a slightly higher part of my nail, and, and hopefully you'll understand what I'm trying to say in a moment. I then was also filling in the corners of where these two arches had met. I know earlier in this video I mentioned that this manicure took me a little under two hours to do. It definitely could be done quicker if you don't use a magnetic polish as a base color. 
Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you might have noticed that a few of the recent nail designs that I posted don't actually have a tutorial tied to them. I didn't end up posting those because I wasn't 100% excited about the designs and how they turned out, even though I did try to test them ahead of time on a silicone mat. They just didn't match my expectations, whether the colors didn't look right or I banged my nails a few times while trying to film. It is kind of challenging to film tutorials because you have a light overhead with a phone mount and it's very easy to then bang your hand on the ring light. So while I really love putting these videos together, the filming process isn't necessarily my favorite part. All right, one more design to go. We're gonna be creating an arch shape on the, my thumb. I already accidentally had gotten a blob of orange on my nails. I don't know how that happened, but that's fine because I'm just gonna hide it. So I'm gonna be creating an arch starting at the bottom left corner of my nail and up to the top right corner of my nail. And to make my life easier, I am again going in and just filling in that arch shape with the brush from the bottle, but I'm also gonna go in at the corners and use my detail brush to just fill in those gaps. After cleaning up the corner of the nail, I then went and I tried to wrap the tip just to try to smooth out the new lumpiness, but also to make the manicure last longer. As you can see, the polish is looking a little bit transparent, so I am going to have to go in on this nail too and add a second coat. And we are in the home stretch. The last thing that you're going to need to do is lock in that manicure with a quick dry top coat just to make sure everything dries quickly and it is protected. If you haven't already added a top coat to your magnetic polish, at this point you are going to want to go in back with your magnet and magnetize it one more time just in case any small particles has got dragged in the process. Again, you are going to want to hold that magnet there for a minute, but I have sped this up for the sake of your sanity. So yeah, that was the last step and you should have some super cool looking nails after this. Let me know, what did you think? Are you gonna try this look out yourself? I try to put out new videos every Saturday and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.